Okay, so this is the uh, this is the this is the master one cartridge, and this this has a wi a wire suspension that has so it has a similar compliance to a standard kind of moving yes, coil right. cartridge. And you have it's a it's a sapphire cantilever with, micro -rich with a micro ridge stylus. Okay, and then down here we have the preamp, and this has three different choices for the equalization and um, and this, that costs 20k right 225 okay it's, it's an extra tw 2500 dollars for the purple <laughs> illumination for the prince, for the prince tribute. With, yeah with prince a prince tri that's what you should call this the yeah. Audio prince instead yeah. of the master one okay and now uh, this arm is the finished version of the AMG 12 inch arm yeah, 12 -inch. 12 JT yeah. turbo, yeah. and what does that cost? Uh, that cost eighty five hundred dollars. Okay, fair enough. And this does not use the spring type of it vertical. It oh, I thought there was the some different. It's still with the spring. You can see okay. it in large bearing housing, and what we've done is gone to a double ball bearing for the horizontal I see. axis, and we're still using the spring system for the vertical axis. Okay. Because that's really the AMG patent, and as you can see, all the different. Um, adjustments are hand locking yes. and retightening and everything, you know, we have little micrometers. In fact, these are going to be even finer engravings. It's good because I just set one of these up uh, last weekend, and not the, the earlier one, the original one. My, right, yeah. my friend Bill, who you, he sent his back to be fixed okay. in Washington, D.C. Okay. You don't remember? Anyway. Okay. So, yeah. So, uh, for instance, like this is the azimuth lock here, lock unlock. Right. And then you adjust the azimuth by turning this. Right. You know, VTA is done here. Your anti skates are both done there. Right. You have a locking mechanism in the back that locks the arm in the vertical. It's actually a much more sophisticated locking system. Yeah, yeah. Where instead of just having a set screw against a rod, right. the stem, you actually have a rod that inserts into the stem to give it greater rigidity. So overall, the it's arm. It's a big improvement. Over yeah, there. yeah, yeah. So. Well, not just convenience feature, it's a big improvement in terms of stability. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, in designing those new locking features, we went another degree in terms of making sure that it's ultra rigid in the way it mounts. Right. So, uh, and it's a drop-in replacement for the standard 12 inch. And what's great about these arms is that once you have them fully set up and you have your VTA screw touching, which we don't like while we're playing, but when you register it back there, you unlock it here, you pull the arm out, and you can drop it right back in place and it's ready to roll. Right. So what's great is if a guy has the standard 12 inch and he wants to upgrade to the turbo, he can almost use his old 12 inch as his second arm. His yeah, and switch. Right. Cool. We did update the twin arm board, which is the board that extends out this way to mount our 9-inch on. Right. I can show you that, where we added actually a foot with its own adjustable spike, just to make it a little bit more rigid overall. Because, right. you know, when you can't leave an arm board, it's still nice to mechanically ground it. Right. So, um, so Garth Lear of Musical Surroundings. Yes. Hi. <laughs>